Hey YouTubers, we have a 2004 GMC Yukon that has a check engine light. We ran the code and it was a P0455 and that's an evaporative emission system leak detected, a large leak. And first thing you could check if you get that, you get the check engine light coming on and you can pull the code, you get this. It could be that your, your gas cap might need to be replaced. That'd be the first thing to try. So, when you get your gas cap off, you could try using some WD-40 or some type of cleaner to clean this rubber seal right here. That rubber seal comes in contact with this metal. You could also clean this metal, make sure it's really clean and make sure there's no cracks in this rubber and the rubber should still feel a little bit supple it's all dried out and that could be the problem but when you take off the gas cap if you notice that you hear a lot of hissing like like there's vapor coming out and you smell a strong gas smell then very likely you do not have a problem with your gas cap it'll still cause the same code but it's going to be a different little problem but it's easy to fix come over to the front of your vehicle and use an eight millimeter to unscrew this one and then you're going to lift up on this cover and then pull it towards you comes these pieces come out of those clips and this thing here is called the vapor canister purge valve it may be malfunctioning what it's supposed to do is let some of the evaporative um, fumes that build up in your tank uh, rather than just letting them build up it's supposed to open up at a certain time when the computer tells it to it's, it's a solenoid it's powered when it opens up it's going to let some of those vapors go in and burn in your combustion which is which is great but if it's malfunctioning it may not be opening and that vapor is just going to keep building up and you're going to get that kind of a symptom so we got to see if we can replace it and shouldn't be too difficult. We got this one online. This is a part number uh, 214-646019972279. And I will get you I will get you a link for this too in the description below. So if you open it up, you've got this part on top, and you've got this one goes into the bottom, and you've got your electrical connector here, and it's being held in by an 8 millimeter bolt, which is right there. So we're going to undo that 8 millimeter right there. There's our screw bolt right out of there. We do want to take this thing off to put it onto the new one. Okay. This goes over there. And then this little grommet goes over there. There we go. So it should be working and controlling that airflow, that evaporative gas. But if you ran into a situation where you needed to fix this and you didn't have the new part, you might try just taking off this electrical connection, cleaning it, because maybe that would be enough if you're in a pinch. But these parts are pretty cheap. So it won't, won't be hard if you can have access to the part just to replace it. Mm. So to get this thing off, you want to push in on this plastic tab. 
in as far as it can go. Just using my thumb, and you should be able to lift this off. Okay. That when you move that tab down, it releases uh, a hold on this rim. There's the old one. There's the new one. So on the new one, you can just slide that over and push it all the way down. It'll click into place as far as it'll go. You can hear that click? That was nice. We got that in position. We're going to set that down. It needs to go. And then put it in that bolt push and wiggle it down. I felt that click in. I'm going to put that 8mm bolt back. Put my electrical connector in there to where it clicks. Got it. Piece in. I'm going to tighten up that 8mm. They have this piece here too. I think this is where you can bleed off any pressure or do a pressure check. Yeah, just push it on that little pin. But there's probably a way to do a vacuum check to see if it's functioning. My guess is that <clears throat> this is the culprit because we had all that built up pressure in the tank. It wasn't the gas cap. They called it a gross leak, but more like the opposite. It wasn't able to vent off that those fumes. And there is another culprit that could be causing the trouble. It's down underneath the car above the transmission housing. And there's a little solenoid down there too that could be trouble. But this is the most gas caps the most likely. It's second most likely, and that one's the third likely. That's on tight, that's tight. This is on tight, the electrical's on tight, and we're all set. And we're gonna put this back on. We're gonna feed these into the rubber grommets back there, set it down, tighten up this eight millimeter, and we can test it out. Okay, we're in the truck. We're gonna just start it up, make sure it's, everything's working. Good, no more check engine light. And we'll drive it around, make sure it's okay, but we were getting, check engine light would build up and show up after about half an hour of driving it. And that's just because those fumes were building up and wasn't able to utilize them in the combustion. So it was getting worse and worse. But now that that's been fixed, I don't think those fumes are going to build up, so I think that would do the trick. Watching our video, and please subscribe to our channel when you get a chance, and also click the little bell notification button so we can send you uh, weekly videos on all the different ways of fixing appliances around your home and saving you lots of money. So thanks again for watching and please also press the like button for our video if this was helpful to you. To contact me at the email listed below which is scottthefixitguy at yahoo.com with any of your questions.